The model number is the DNA of your appliance. There are a thousand different models of each individual appliance. So it can be very difficult to find the correct part because they will look alike. However, there might be minute differences that are not visible to the eye. So getting the right model number will help you order the correct part for your appliance so you can actually fix it. So here is a list of several common appliances and where you can find their model numbers. For refrigerators, the model number will always be inside the fridge section, not the freezer. You can generally find it on the left or right side of the wall or on the ceiling of the inside of the fridge. Also check behind the crisper door on the wall itself. For single door refrigerators, you can also find them on the kick plate or the kick toe, which means that you might have to remove it on the bottom of the fridge in order to find the model number. For dishwashers, the model number will be on the inside of the wall of the dishwasher, on the frame as you open the door, on the side of the door, or on the front of the door where the panel is. For microwaves, check on the inside of the microwave, on the frame of the door, on the back of the microwave, or on the side. For washers and dryers, check on the inside of the door on the frame, on the actual door itself, on the back of the unit, or on the side. For top loading washers and dryers, you can also find them under the lid close to the hinge. For stoves, check the inside of the door on either side of the oven or open up the door on the bottom and look on the inside of the storage unit, on the back of the stove, or sometimes it could be hidden underneath the burners, so you might have to lift up the burners to find them. For water heaters, check above the filter or anywhere on the outside of the unit. Garbage disposals, you can find them on the outside of the unit. For gas and electric cooktops, if you have a cabinet where you can look underneath, you can find the model number there, or you might actually have to remove the unit to look underneath the cooktop.